All right, uh, I'm going to do a quick how-to video. Uh, the how-to is how to install Hogue Mono Grips on a double-action revolver. The revolver we're using today is a Smith & Wesson end frame. It's a 44 Magnum, but uh, this is an end frame revolver. It's their large frame, not their largest, but their large frame revolver. This one happens to be a square butt end frame. Round butt installs pretty much the same way, and also installs the Hogue Mono Grip installs the same way on the K-frame and the L-frame revolver and most double action revolvers. So I'm just going to show you how we do it and it shouldn't take too long and you'll see how easy it is and you'll really enjoy putting these grips on your gun because not only do they help with heavy recoil but they I think they look pretty sharp too. First thing I'm going to do is I want to take off the old grips and uh, the old grips usually have a single screw in them. It's right here and you can use a flathead screwdriver take that screw out um, make sure your flathead screwdriver is not too big. Um, you don't want to mar up your screw uh, or your, or especially the wood that the screw is set into. Now, when you get the screw out, set that to the side. The grips will come off. Just got to get a fingernail under there, and one side comes off. and the other side comes off, so it's pushing down. And what I like to do is I like to put my grips back together so I don't lose any of the parts with it, especially this little piece that goes in between them and holds them together. These things can be pretty expensive, so it's best to put the screw back in and screw them on back together and put them in a safe spot until you want to throw them back on for presentation or whatnot. Put this to the side. All right, they, uh, Hogue grips, when you buy them, they come with three little parts, three parts anyway. The main part is the mono grip itself, made of rubber, plastic inside. Um, screw, flathead screw like this. And this little saddle piece that goes on the st or stirrup, looks like. It goes on the uh, bottom of the gun. Now the installation is pretty simple. What you do is take your gun and you'll notice on the bottom, there's these two pins on the bottom of the gun. The stirrup goes right on there. This is how it goes on. You put the stirrup on like this. So the stirrup is like this on the gun. It's almost, it's right, it's right where those pins are. Then you just turn it and it snaps onto the gun. Oops, missed it that time. It's easier to do if I'm looking at it down here. Just put the stirrup on. Line it up. Start to turn it. See how it's lined up on the bottom, popped in. Top's about to pop in, pops right in. Once it's on like that, you're good to go. That's pretty much the first difficult part. The second difficult part, which isn't really that difficult at all, is lining up the stirrup and those pins inside the grip. Now, if you can see inside the grip there, there's one big long groove right in the middle there and two little grooves on each side. That's where this stirrup and those pins line up in. Best way to do it is to line the stirrup up the big groove. Just snaggle it around there a little bit. And then it pops into place. This is how it usually pops into place, just like this. Stirrup is in the in the groove. Those two little notches are in the grooves on the monogrip. Monogrip pushes up onto the gun. You might be thinking it's going on wrong, but it's not. Sliding up, sliding up, sliding up, and it sits into place. Everything is flushed up along the back strap on the trigger guard, everything. Then you take your screw, push it through the hole in the bottom of the monogrip, it sticks into the stirrup, take the screwdriver, and screw the screw in. This holds the monogrip in place, like that. It's on there tight, good to go. This will really help with recoil. Like I said, I think they look pretty sharp. I have them on a couple other guns. This right here is 686. Mono grips. These came on it, but I really like them. They fit my hand well, and I enjoy shooting the gun even more when I have them on there. These can be pretty brutal with high power magnum loads, but put these bad boys on, and you can shoot all day. You won't feel a thing. Well, not much anyway. So if you get a pair, I hope you enjoy them. And if you have any questions, send me a message.